okay so in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how we can use node.js to connect to our neon Postgres database and also how to set up the Postgres database using neon so let's get started so I've basically made a simple node.js server okay don't worry about these these are just um, something from a previous tutorial okay I don't worry about this okay this is just set up node.js simply how you normally set up node.js okay so now after you have set up node.js as a server right this is the basic setup file right here okay dot env cores and all of that stuff so right now the first thing you need to do to connect to the Postgres database in Neon is install a package called PG, okay, which stands for Postgres, okay. So the command to install that is npm i and then PG. I've already installed this, so I'm not going to reinstall this again, okay, but I'm going to show you how to use the environment variables and connect to the Neon Postgres database using this here but first you need to set up the database in your Neon account so to do that go to Neon create an account nothing complicated about that after that it'll ask you some things like what you want to name the project and stuff like that it's nothing complicated just give the database name and follow along all of those things that it's asking you nothing complicated about that okay so after it asks you for the basic information you will be shown the quick start menu okay don't just go there okay because what you need to do is go to your branches first you will have a main branch okay that is how this works by default you will have the main branch so when you go to branches you can create another branch you could you just use the main branch if you want but it's better to have a separate branch for your separate projects and the free account I think allows you to have 10 branches unless they end up changing that in the future but you can then name this whatever you want okay so let's say you were creating a travel blog for example let's say right so you could name this branch travel blog okay something simple like that and make the parent branch main if you want and include data up to the current point in time just keep the basic default stuff okay and then do create new branch and then you will be shown something like this okay and I'll show you how to connect using this later but for now just close this okay so this is the branch that has been created for you okay now what you can do using the SQL editor okay and this is like to set up certain things just remove all of this okay so you will be shown something like this so you can use AI to generate something simple for you set so this example is that we have a travel blog okay so in the Postgres database we need a table for our blog and the table is going to be called post so what I can do is create a table called posts that will have a ID title description created at and updated at okay so after giving this basic information to it right so I'm just saying create a post table that will have these inside of it then you need to click this button so 
what this will do is since you selected the travel blog and you can choose the main branch or this one okay so since you have selected this right what it's going to do is for this branch it's going to create this and this is going to be according to what you have given it according to the columns you've provided so it's already guessing that this is an ID so it needs to be primary key title needs to be text and I would actually say it should be variable character but okay let's do text um, and it can't be null description is also going to be text and then time then you can add the timestamp I would just change this to varchar okay for variable character and also this one for variable character as well and this is going to be not null because I this will basically make it required and the description can be empty if you want so this is a good thing that it didn't add not null in this and it's doing uh, for this what it's doing is the timestamp it's adding a timestamp and the default option is going to be the current timestamp when this is going to be created okay so this is fine for the basic setup okay so I'm just gonna do run saying there's an error in the current timestamp for some reason don't feel like there should be let's do fix with AI just to be sure even though I don't really think there is something that can be considered problem okay, let's just run this again yeah it executed successfully even though it should have before for some reason it didn't execute before but whatever it worked okay so sometimes this won't work correctly you should have some knowledge of database queries okay so after you do this you will see that if you go into tables and you're in the travel blog okay you will see that for the posts you have an ID title description created at and updated at okay so it's taking care of everything here and you can add a record okay and you will see that if I add something like post post data and then just do save one you can see that I can add data into this okay so here you will be able to see that the time for both of these is also updated that's also a good sign that when this post was created this added both of these this added the timestamp for this. so right now you would have to manually put in data but with the SQL editor you can just ask it to write the query to add some dummy data into this now I've already tried this once okay so this was my query for this write a query to add five dummy data posts into the table that includes the title description for a travel blog on popular places to visit in the US this was what I ended up putting in the prompt you can change this but this is what it gave me okay so it's inserted in two posts and all of this okay so just run this and you have to be in the travel block for this so statement successfully executed so I'm gonna go into tables now and you will see that all of this data is added into this and now comes the part where we are going to connect node.js to our neon postgres database so after you have installed pg i'm going to create a simple route so So outside of this I will add the connection logic to connect to our neon Postgres database 
So to connect to the database, first I should I will go into my environment variables and to connect to this you need to install .env okay and then set it up like this so here I'm going to add by going into my branches I'm going into travel blog and if I do connect and go into parameters only you will see I have these parameters so just copy the snippet okay so it says copied so I'm gonna close this and here you just need to paste it in and this is how uh, the host database user and password okay that you need to connect to the database I'm gonna save this and now I am going to get all of my environment variables so constant and I'm gonna destructure this and process.env okay so this is how you get the environment variables because we have added dot env so here I'm just going to copy the names and add them into this let me just save this okay and after this I am going to then set up pool so pooling is a different thing that needs to be discussed but I'm gonna keep this tutorial simple you just need to set it up like this oh um, constant pool is equal to a new pool okay so as you can see using PG which I have installed I can get this and then inside of this is where you set up everything so basically all of this you need to add into this so you require a host okay and the other thing is the database and then you can I need the user name and then you need the port it runs on and the final thing is the SSL which basically is to make sure that where it's trying to connect to the neon Postgres database is a secure HTTPS server okay so I need to set this to require and make this true that's it so here in the host you need to add pg host postgres database for this user and the password i forgot to add the password so here you add the user and the password okay so here the port is going to be 5432 that is the neon postgres database port so this is the configuration you need in order to connect with neon postgres so here now i'm going to add in const and i'm going to do client is equal to a uh, a wait and we're gonna do a whole dot connect okay uh, using this we're going to connect to our Postgres database and then what you can do is add a try catch block because this returns a promise you could also use something else but try catch 
block is basically the best choice. So console dot log any errors. I'm gonna make this s errors. And here, what we're gonna do is add the connection logic. But first. Finally, and to client dot release, and you need to add this. The reason you would add this is that when you make a connection to Postgres, right, or any SQL database, really, it will stay open until you end up closing it. Okay, so this is used to end the connection, to cut it off. So here is where I'm going to add the logic to communicate with our Postgres database. So here, I can just add constant. And actually, I'm going to move this into this. And also add this here too because I don't want it to keep running. I will just say status is going to be a 404 in case it fails. So here I'm going to add the connection logic. So constant and then results because we're going to get something back wait client dot query so here you can add your sql query so i have connected to the travel blog okay and I should be able to see all of this if I query this data. Right now. So select asterisk from posts. And the name of this posts is, is the name of this posts. OK? So this is the name of the table posts is the name of the table so if i do select asterisk from posts this will give me all of the posts so i'm just going to take this and i'm going to do result dot rows okay and this will give me all of the rows so i'm just going to save this close this and here I'm using Thunder client you can use whatever you want and I'm on localhost 3001 which is this right here okay so I need to start my server first npm uh, start okay so our server is running and if I make a request to this it will connect to our database and run this and then give me the rows which i'm going to do now so send okay so i'm getting the data back as you can see the id is one post post data and then the id is two exploring the grand canyon and then New York City and so on and so forth. So just to confirm, exploring the Grand Canyon is the second one. And as you can see, it's the second one. OK, so this is how you set up and connect to the Neon Postgres database. So I hope you like this tutorial. So like and subscribe for more tutorials like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.